Hi Gemini, welcome to your January How They Feel Love Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we're looking at the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, no matter your situation. We're going to see how they're truly feeling about you or the situation or whatever's going on. And then what their next moves may be, what they want to say to you, and also love messages as well. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it, reverse it anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well could be a reading for you. Now do keep in mind, uh, Gemini, if something shows up here for some reason and you feel like it's not resonating or you're not interested, I don't know why you'd be watching, but um, either way, you know, you can just leave it for someone else or check out other readings on the channel. But welcome in Gemini. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Gemini. So with these cards here, we're going to kind of get a feel for whatever's going on with them. All right, let's see. Fragment. And we have 15, which is 6, which is a healing balanced energy. So fragment is a very scattered, uh, broken up kind of energy. So let's see. Obedience. And we have 48, which is 12, which is 3 which is growth and expansion. This obedience card definitely gives me justice vibes. Hmm. So they're torn. I mean, that fragment can be about like being torn too. Something doesn't seem whole. And this could be something uh, regarding the law or justice system or something like that. All right, let's see. Differences, 36, which is nine, which could be almost endings and new beginnings. So you could be a little different from each other, could be different nationalities, uh, ethnicities, culture, whatever. Um, so there could be a little bit of that that's going on too. But there is love here. And we have 10, which is endings and new beginnings. For some of you, I don't know if this is someone like, are you getting divorced? And you're wondering, you know, do they really want this? Is this a chance? Is there a chance for us to heal and get back together? Maybe you already di already divorced this person. Thinking about, you know, I, geez, I still love them. I wonder if there's a chance we could work out our differences um, and work it out. Or maybe this person is going through something that they have to abide by, but they do um, have love for you. You could be, like I said, a little bit different from each other. We're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, so whatever the situation is, whether it's someone you're connected to that's going through something and you can be very different and they, they seem indecisive or they they have to abide by something, whether they're going through a divorce or whatever, or this is someone you divorced or thinking about divorcing and you want to know how they're truly feeling about the connection. Can we still work? Does it have a chance to work out or can we still work it out? Whatever. We're just going to get more of how they're feeling and that kind of energy. All right. Okay. Gemini. Let's see. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. All right. Let's see. How are they feeling about Gemini? How are they feeling? Eight of Cups in reverse. So if there's separation or distance, it could be about returning. Three of Cups. That could be reuniting, coming, getting back together. So this is uh, energy of this person wanting to return or come into your energy in either court to get to know or reunite and come back together. Star in reverse. So they definitely feel like there's a lot that needs to be healed. Uh, a lot of energy that's not really balanced right now. They could be also doing some inner uh, healing work right now that they still need to work on. But there's definitely that energy of not feeling um, balanced. But there is a connection here with the lovers. So there is love in a connection. That is for sure. So they definitely feel that connection to you. In the world reverse, there's definitely a lot about this person, no matter your situation. They either want to come back and reunite, or they definitely want to um, be with you, court, date, get to know you, whatever your situation. So this person wants to be with you, no matter th your situation. The world in reverse can be like, I don't want this to be over. You know, I want to come back together. I want to come back. Or they're, if they're stuck in a cycle that's not over yet, 
there's definitely this energy of this person who wants to be with you no matter what. So that's how they're feeling. They still feel the connection to you no matter what. So it could be the star reversed feeling, you know, a little, maybe like a little, a something here is a little unfair. It's kind of what I'm getting to. We have Aquarius, Gemini, that's you right there, and Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, let's see. The tower reverse. So feeling a little stuck. Um, the change is coming. It's just, you know, tower upright could be unexpected, a big change, reveal. It could be a surprise. In reverse, it's kind of like a change we know is coming, but it's just very long and drawn out. Um, maybe a little stuck. Five of Swords. They don't want to screw something up here. So if they're stuck in a situation, you know, they don't want to screw anything up here. Uh, they know that um, they did something maybe they weren't supposed to do. For whatever reason, that could also screw things up. They kind of know that too with the Five of Swords. Ace of Wands. So they definitely feel a lot of fire, passion, attraction to you, but they're holding that energy back. Ace of Wands reversed. But boy, do they want to take action here with the Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles. So they could be in the energy of building, rebuilding. And this is also growth and expansion. So either on their own or with you. So they want to build with you or they're rebuilding something on their own to be with you. So I'm getting like two storylines here. So you're going to have to take what resonates for you. But I definitely feel like this person, no matter the situation, this person does love you and wants to be with you. So, all right. So let's get more Gemini about how they're feeling. More for Gemini about how they're feeling. Let's see. More for Gemini. About, let's see. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Boy, do they feel oppressed and weighed down by something. Page of Pentacles reverse. That's why there's no offers coming through yet. So some of them could be stuck in a tough cycle right now and they're longing to reach out, make that connection um, to be with you. Or if, if there was a separation or something, if you were with this person, they definitely do want to reconnect. But also they're feeling burdened by not sure maybe if you want that. All right, let's see. Nine of Cups. This is, for me, kind of single energy. Happiness, joy, wish, fulfillment. Ace of Pentacles. Either this person wants to get back together or they're longing to be single to be with you. So take it, take it how it resonates. The hangman, but the energy is stuck right now. So it's definitely a stuck energy here. Pause, enlightenment, reflection, then get something, take sides. So this person is going to take action either way. So if you were with this person and now you're separated or you're divorcing or you did divorce, they definitely want to come back or they're going through that. They want that to be over and done so they can be with you. So either way, this person, like I said, wants to be with you. There's, you know, investing uh, in a new beginning right here with the Ace of Pentacles. So we have Pisces, Capricorn. I mean, we're in Capricorn season right now, which is almost done. So, but, oh, Ace of Cups. It's either a new beginning, a fresh new start, like a do-over, or an actual new beginning. So however it resonates for you. Five of Cups is definitely uh, sadness, loss, and regret here. Or somebody's going through that. But if they're longing to be with you, I don't think they would really have any regrets about uh, what they were going through. But sometimes it's still kind of a sad energy, you know, when you have to end something. You know, it's really... Sometimes it's not hard to do because it's what you want, but it's still something that's um, like a big change that's, you know, sometimes hard to deal with as well. It's a lot of healing, rest, recovery, and thinking about you. Nine of Swords, a little, you know, stress, worry, anxiety, nervousness here. Definitely the Hermit here is a single energy. Going within, pause, reflection, healing, enlightenment, someone knowing exactly what they want. So this person is go either going to become single and they definitely know what they want, which is you. Or if now you two are separated, divorced, or single, I, I do think they want to come back. So if, if it's not resonating to the point where I don't want no one from the past, then it's not your reading or that pot doesn't resonate for you. Or if it's somebody new, you could be divorced from someone. Maybe they do want to come back to you, but maybe you're connected to somebody new um, that's going through something, but you know that you're going to be together. So it, it could be like everything for some of you. 
All right. Okay, so wow, it's, it's, for some it seems like a complicated situation. Some it's either or. So let's see. Let's see, Gemini. All right, so let's see what this person's next move is going to be for Gemini. What is this person's next move for Gemini? Let's see. Three of Wands reverse. Like, this is the here and now. Three of Wands reverse is not looking out to the future. It's not waiting. It's here. It's now. It's arriving. So they're ready to make that next move. Six of Pentacles, reciprocation, balance. That's like the minor of justice for me as well, which could indicate like divorce, or separation, or something like that. Knight of Wands. Boy, they're all fiery, passionate. They desire you. They're go-getter, ready to go after what they want, which is you. The tower reversed again, a long time coming, a stuck energy, an ending that we know is coming. It's about getting to the other side, so somebody here can go after what they want. And the eight of pentacles in reverse. So somebody is not putting work into something, something that's going to come to an end. And once it's ending, it's done. It's over. It's done. There's no more time, energy, effort, whatever, money, nothing put into that. It's done. It's over. It's complete. It's going to be put in the past. So they can definitely make their way towards you with that eight of pentacles reversed. Th this person is ready like right now, right now. Let's say we have Sag and Aries. The sun reversed. So Again, a delay in the happiness. So the enlightenment hasn't come yet. They can't bring this enlightenment yet. Temperance in reverse. So again, there's a stalemate about can't be together right now. But once, once this you know this person is able to come come and get you, they're on their way. Two of Wands. Yeah, they're choosing their path ahead, making that decision. But they're holding back for a Pentacles because they have to. But they're definitely uh, not happy where they are, bored, blah, energy, definitely thinking about you and what they want. Wow. Okay. So let's get a little more here, Gemini. Uh, let's see. Did I save the signs? Sag and Aries. All right. So let's see what else about their next move here. So I see this person is probably not able to make that next move. Maybe like maybe right right now i mean the three of wands in reverse for me is like right now but then the tower in reverse is like it's going to take some time so they want to make those moves right now but it's not the right time that's kind of what i'm feeling as well but they're ready all right let's see what else about their next move for gemini empress in reverse hmm okay Temperance in reverse about not being uh, together right now. They could be leaving a situation where they're uh, were with a very nasty person with this Empress reverse, just saying something mean, um, conniving, just not a great energy. Devil, oh my God! Well, that confirms that. So until they get this, uh, <laughs> I heard which woman out of their life or man or whatever, then they can't make any moves forward. But once this person's out of their life they're out for good page of cups so there's the um romantic gesture there's a love proposal maybe a date and the king of cups oh my god this person has um hidden love and emotions and feelings for you or maybe they already told you they could have with the page of cups could be i love you as well so maybe you know, maybe they bared it all already and you know how they feel, but you also maybe do know their situation, but you want confirmation, like, you know, are they really going to come forward once they're done with their situation? I would say yes. Let's see, we have Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn. It could be, you know, not too far away. Capricorn season ends in like a week. Sag, Libra, Taurus. Three of Swords, hmm. They've been, uh, I think they could have been done dirty in their situation as well. Or maybe there was some, you know, if this is someone you argue with, there was a lot of disappointment, heartache, and pain along the way. But this is the energetic reset, fresh, clean slate, start, leaving all baggage behind, taking that leap of faith. So once that happens here, leaving all that garbage behind, five of pentacles, so they're definitely feeling a lot of lack in their situation. They're not happy about it. 
I can't wait to take this new path ahead. Two of Wands, the Hermit. They're retracting their energy right now because they have to. But boy, let me tell you, this person is going to come forward when they're able to. So if you're wondering, are they really going to do it? Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Did we have the star here? Yeah, up there it's in reverse. So it definitely could be by Aquarius season, which is not far off, or the end of Aquarius season, which would be like mid-January. Um, no, I'm sorry, mid-February. All right. So let's see what they want to tell you, Gemini, at this time. What do they want to tell you? Five of Wands. I'm in a very, very complicated situation, conflicting situation, and I know it's causing, you know, conflict right now in our feelings towards each other. Ace of Wands. That's why we can't have this exciting new start right now. Two of Pentacles in reverse, but once things balance out... Four of Swords. I'm just thinking, until things balance out for them, they're definitely thinking heavily about you. Healing, rest, recovery, retracting their energy because they have to. They don't want to cause any conflict in their situation either. Let's see. What else? Strength. Wow. But I'm going to overcome this situation. I feel such a strong connection to you. Um, past life, soul contracts, strong, courageous, and brave. But I'm holding back right now because I have to. Wow. So let's see. We got Leo here. Page of Swords. So I'm checking out your social media, but I'm not communicating to you because I don't want to do anything to ruin my chances with you. Seven of Pentacles. But I'm tired of the stalemate. I'm tired of my situation. I'm ready to speak truth, clarity. I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready to get out of what I'm in. King of Wands, I'm ready to go for it. I'm so ready. But right now, things seem in the dark right now because the ending of my situation is not clear, but there will be healing and the light will come and the new beginning will happen. And the Queen of Swords can be somebody divorced as well. And I spoke of that through this. Truth, clarity, communication. Yes, a lot of disappointment, but then again, the full energetic reset and a fresh clean slate and start and taking action. But this person, wow, this person, this person is going to come forward when they're able to. Again, we got Aquarius here. So definitely something by or the end of Aquarius season. All right, Gemini, so we're going to get some love messages with this deck as well. But if this does resonate, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly, truly appreciated. And I thank you. And everything you need to know is down below, so you can check that out as well. All right, Gemini, so let's get some love messages for you and see what you need to know. What do they want to tell you? What are the love messages for you? I hide behind material things. So this is a real thing that they're going through right now, and it may seem like they're hiding, but it's kind of like they have to. I know I messed everything up. Hmm. Okay, so if this is someone you had been in a relationship with and they want to come back, maybe they know they messed things up. And maybe, you know, whatever they're going through, maybe they messed it up. I don't know, in some way, shape, or form. But let's see. I hid who I really am from you. So they're definitely hiding how they're truly feeling from you because they have to. I left before you could leave me. Hmm. Why is that here? I want to feel that way again. So, I mean, you maybe you had one time with this person, um, and maybe they had to leave and, you know, and kind of cut ties because they had to, but they do want to feel that way again. I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, we do that, have that here. And they do, if you had conversations, they do play them over and over again because they can't stop thinking about you, and they do feel you even though you're apart. That is for sure. All right, Gemini. Well, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.